Hey you guys, what's up? Today I want to give my thoughts on an anime called Tenchi GXP and why does it suck so bad? I mean, it's bad. I like Tenchi Ryoki and Tenchi Universe, one of my pers personal favorite animes of all time. Well done and they're really good and they're fun. But when you get a Tenchi GXP with a shitty fucking main character named Sena Yamada, yeah, it's pretty crap. It's not like the other, you know, Tenchi series I've, I've that I have seen. This is a more comedy centric. It's crap. You know what I'm saying? It's fucking not even funny as an anime and the, the, the problem with GXP it just it focuses on being too funny being being too silly <sighs> the story is uh, the plot uh, you know the story is okay there's some good elements there's some story elements to it it's not all bad but the it's but the execution of it is flat like eh so I'm gonna try, try to talk to you about my problems my first main issue about the series is with Seina, Seina Yamada who is the main character of the GXP series he is pretty much a very boring dull cheesy weak was crybaby and does whatever he's told basically he's like a slave he gets pushed around he doesn't fight back he doesn't stand up for himself he's that kind of character that is lame he doesn't do nothing at all the girls basically have to save him from the bad guys yeah I mean, he is one of the worst and weakest characters I have ever seen in my life. I've seen shitty main characters, but he's by far the worst. Yeah, that's how much I hate this stupid character. And you put a shitty fucking character like this in a Tenchi series. Who the hell made this garbage? of a series as 26 episodes and the main character Sena doesn't have any character developments between him or basically with any of the female characters with Kirito some and I'll get to that soon but he he doesn't do nothing he's just one of those characters that he you don't need him he's unnecessary he brings nothing to the table but try to make it funny and it's not funny he's flat his voice is really fucking annoying you can watch the Japanese and the English version the character the voice for this character is so annoying I mean literally he pisses me off he is like, oh my god! The, the, I don't blame the char the main character. I blame the author, the creator, the director, whoever made this character such garbage and wimpy. He gives nothing for this series. He does nothing. He serves no purpose at all. And you watch this twenty six episode serious to see if something happens nothing the character doesn't he never grows and he gets majority the majority of the time he gets pushed around and that's what's disappointing about this character he he has no will no no power no force no I'm going to kick your ass. You know, I'm going to stand up for myself. He does nothing. Unfortunately, this character is so bad. 
This anime could have been great with a different main character. You know, someone who's more of a badass, more who stands up for himself. And you don't get that here. Like I said, it's just very disappointing. Now let's talk about let's talk about the other characters. Kirito. Uh, I have takes just letting you guys know. So if you hear me, if so if I'm doing that, it's just um, it's my takes. Um, so Kirito, um, I believe it's Masaki. Uh, Kirito Misaki is not so bad of a character. She's kind of an you know. Uh, like an older sister to Senna, and that's where she kind of sees him as sometimes. But some, but for some reason, it's like you see a twenty-year-old something in love with a fifteen-year-old sometimes, and but you see a fifteen-year-old who kind of should view Kito more as a sister, and you know she's like in her twenties, and Senna's like in his fifteen, he's fifteen years old. Oh, one other thing. Senna likes is in love with Kirito. And she should be more like an older sister, like an older sister kind of thing with him. But he sees her as a love interest. It's stupid. I don't know why he likes her. She's older than him. I, I, I mean, I, as a sister, yes. But as a love interest, that makes no sense. But anyways, with Kirito, um, um, we're talking about Kirito here. So... She kind of views Senna as an older, like a young, younger brother, sorry. And for kind of like the beginning and maybe like episode 25, she describes him as a brother. But at the same time, she kind of has feelings for him. At, at, at some times, you know, it, it's, it's kind of like awkward. The relationship never really grows. It you know, you kill it. You get more of a. You give a background story between the characters, but nothing ever really happens with them. I mean, they don't develop as characters, and you know, and their friendship is kind of a mess. You know, the it's like they don't know what to do with these characters. I mean, they were just there for fan service and for comedy. You know, for comedy. Uh, which the comedy really sucks here. It's just, like I said, boring. It serves no purpose. And it's something that we've seen many, many times over and over and over. Uh, but yeah, as for Kito, she's okay. I like to. I would love to see her more of the character, but we don't get so much. And we have, and then we have another main character, Amane, who is kind of a tamboyish. Blonde hair with blonde short hair, you know, like like really short hair. She is a very energetic, crazy chick, you know, and she kind of teases Sena, my Georgie the of this season. So she's kind of love interest for Sena as well, uh, but she's like because they're like very pretty. Uh, she's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say she's like. I don't think, you know, she's she's not that pretty. She's got a body, but she's not that pretty. I mean, you know, I've seen prettier girls in the, in the anime series. I mean, fucking Ryoko, who's a, another Ryoko, who's a pirate, just like the original Ryoko, is is way prettier than Amane. Hell, even fucking Kito is prettier than Amane. Yeah, so, Amane is like, um... Uh, uh, a model, like you know, she's she was a basically a model. Then she went to GXP. She would take uh, to be a police academy uh, to be a G GXP officer, and uh, she didn't want to be a model no more, no more because of her parents. We got some of the backgrounds with her parents, you know, why she didn't want to be a model. But I kind of wanted to explore that a little bit more and get a little bit more of a story with her character. And unfortunately, we didn't get that. I mean, like it's that much background. My what I'm trying to say is that we, we got some good elements here and some of the background, but I kind of wanted a little bit more story with her, you know, because she was kind of a cool character, but 
at the same time, Sena Sena is always looking at her private parts. Trying, it it was their relationship just didn't go right. I don't know. It was like perverted at times. I hope that makes sense. If not, I apologize. Uh, oh, and then we have Neju. Yeah, uh, Neju is basically a priest, a twenty thousand year old, two thousand year old priest, who is in love with Sina as well. And here's the twist about Neju: she has a body of a ten year old. Yeah, and she's two thousand years old. Uh huh. So yeah, that's that's pretty much is to her character. There's nothing about her character that is interesting. She's two thousand years old. She has a body of a fucking ten year old, and uh, she's in love with Sina. That's all we know. I mean, she's a priest and everything. And she can talk to uh, ships, yeah. Yep, that's that's pretty much it about her character, yeah. Like I said, zero. Well, I won't say zero, but uh, there's only ten percent of character of character development. Ninety percent zero character development. So let's talk about Ryoku, who is basically another Ryoku, not Ryoku from Tenchi. This is a new Ryoku who has the same fucking name as Tenchi's girlfriend. What kind of call? Yeah, she's basically Tenchi's girlfriend. So this Ryoku is a pirate, and she kind of has a little bit of a background too. But we don't get to see that much of a background. We just kind of get told and of her background but we don't get to explore all that much of it and you can tell there's a bit of a story there but we don't get a lot of story with her background and I was kind of interested in her background a lot more than anybody else because she had the more almost tragic story you know her parents got were killed by the pirates and you know and uh, they eventually hid her identity so that way nobody knew who she, who she really was. And she basically is a apprentice, apparently. She's a, uh, and she is, has right to, uh, she's, so she basically has her own land, but she's an apprentice and, you know, it's really hard to describe their land. I mean, this, it's just like I said, not much is explained. Some of it's explained, but you don't get too much. But, I mean, there's a lot of stuff, and there's a lot of characters. I want to talk about the parents really fast. The parents uh, of Asena Yamada's parents, they were, I don't know, they didn't seem, in my point of view, like they very they cared about him too much. They kind of saw him as this, like this, there's like a, as a fucking idiot, you know, who gets in into trouble or causes problems with people, and they just didn't seem to really care um, too much about him. Um, they really, yeah, I mean, it, he just and he, when he talks with his parents, I mean, he just doesn't stand up for himself. I mean, from from what I get from his point of from his past life, we get to in episode twenty five, we get to know a little bit more about his past life. From Kito, thank God, someone has explained something. Um, his life was kind of interesting. I mean, he, he didn't have uh, any friends, and the only friends that he actually made was Kito's brother, who eventually became his best friend. But when he was younger, before he met her, her uh, Kito's brother. He was alone. People didn't like him because he was bad luck and stuff like that. And so you, so you kind of get to know. So that's pretty much why I think they don't really care too much about him because he always gets into trouble. And 
you know, they just, they're like this too laid back, you know, for parents. And as for Sena, like I said before, he doesn't speak up for himself. And, you know, this anime could have been viewed more as this character could have gone through depression. You know, I, I kind of want to see a character who has suffered a lot. <sighs> suffered with depression. And I wish this anime didn't focus, didn't need to, you know, like he... Uh, didn't... Hold. Yeah, this anime was disaster. But I wish it didn't focus on the romance either. Because the romance, there wasn't really... Nah, they they did their relationship didn't go well. Then then mix. <sighs> they forced saying at the very end at, at the end of her um, spoiler alert at the very end of the episode twenty six. What it pisses me off is with Santa's parents that they forced him to marry uh, the girls and that <sighs> you know she kind of like like says you know like what what the fuck you know like what, what why why am I getting married to these girls <sighs> and. You know, it just seems like the, his parents care. They care nothing for him. And they only care about fucking money and be royalty and to be famous. Fuck you. <sighs> you know, what I should, what he should have said to them. Because, I mean, I would, I've saw this, I, I'm seeing these people treating him like crap most of the time. <sighs> you know, like, and maybe they loved him at a certain point, but then they start treating him like crap, like he was a nuisance and... <sighs> Like, you know, whatever, and then, like, you know, he started getting good, good paid money. When he went to GXP, he got a lot of money, but they gave it to most of his parents. I mean, you know, they don't ever, this character should have been, you know, strong, should have, you know, fought for his money and, you know, for his life. He just did nothing for the series. Nobody did nothing for the series. Uh... And most of these characters were were crap. And for me, the parents were a bunch of assholes. I mean, in my opinion, they didn't seem to really care. People could say, "Oh, uh, they, oh, they love him." Fuck you, no, they, fuck you, no, they didn't. Uh, they did not care for him whatsoever. Uh, maybe at certain points they did, but when you see the, you know, when it goes on, you kind of really see they didn't give a shit. They cared about royalty and be famous and then money. That's it. Fuck these people. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, hopefully you guys liked my review. Hopefully they explained it okay. Uh, I know it's not perfect. I'm not good at explaining things all that much. But I'm just kind of explaining some of my problems with it. And hopefully they explained with a you know, good job. I, I did okay on that. And you understood some of it, I hope. Um, but yeah, this is my review for Tenchi GXP. And if you're going to watch a Tenchi series, please watch Tenchi Ryoki and Tenchi, Ryo Tenchi Universe. Don't watch the... If you want to see uh, Tenchi Warner Grimminar, it's good, but it's not great. There are a lot of issues with that anime as well. Uh, I could do a review for that as well. Um, explain some of the problems I have with that. But I'm going to wait for Tenchi Ryoki season four to finish because it's they are some things that are in there that uh i want to use for that um so yeah overall don't know don't ever watch this this is one of this one of those one of those animes that is a waste of time it's 26 episodes and it is a complete waste of time like i said the comedy is flat there's no character development and the characters are all pretty much crap. And Sina is one of the worst main characters I have ever seen in my life. So like I said, go watch Tenchi Ryoki or Tenchi Universe. I do recommend those. Um, thank you for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. And hopefully, I, you know, my review was okay. <laughs> but thank you and have a good day, okay? All right.